வீடுகளில் விரிசலா நீர்கசிவா உங்கள் கட்டடங்களில் ஏற்படும் அனைத்து பிரச்சனைகளுக்கும் நிரந்தர தீர்வை உத்தரவாதத்துடன் தருகிறது பில்டிங் டாக்டர் ப்ளூ எக்கானமி டூ பாயிண்ட் ஓ ஃபார் ப்ரொமோட்டிங் கிளைமேட் ரிசீலியன்ட் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஃபார் ப்ளூ எக்கானமி டூ பாயிண்ட் ஓ அ ஸ்கீம் ஃபார் ரெஸ்டரேஷன் அண்ட் அடாப்டேஷன் மெஷர்ஸ் அண்ட் கோஸ்டல் அக்வா கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் மேரி கல்ச்சர் வித் இன்டிகிரேட்டட் அண்ட் மல்டி செக்டரல் அப்ரோச் வில் பி லான்ச்ட் comprehensive development of tourist centers the success of organizing g20 meetings in 60 places presented diversity of india to global audience our economic strength has made the country an attractive destination for business and conference tourism our middle class also now aspires to travel and explore tourism including spiritual tourism has tremendous opportunities for local entrepreneurship states will be encouraged to take up comprehensive development of iconic tourist centers branding and marketing them at global scale a framework for rating of the centers based on quality of facilities and services will be established long term interest free loans will be provided to states for financing such development on matching basis to address the emerging fervor for domestic tourism honorable speaker sir projects for port connectivity tourism infrastructure and amenities will be taken up on our islands including lakshadweep this will help in generating employment also promoting investments the fdi inflow during 2014 to 23 was 596 billion us dollars marking a golden era that is twice the inflow during 2005 to 14 for encouraging sustained foreign investment we are negotiating bilateral investment treaties with our foreign partners in the spirit of first develop india fdi is first develop india reforms in the states for vikasit bharat many growth and development enabling reforms are needed in the states for realizing the vision of vikasit bharat a provision of 75000 crore rupees as 50 year interest free loan is proposed this year to support those milestone linked reforms by the state governments societal changes the government will form a high powered committee for an extensive consideration of the challenges arising from fast population growth and demographic changes the committee will be mandated to make recommendations for addressing these challenges comprehensively in relation to the goal of vikasit bharat amrit kal as kartavya kal Our government stands committed to strengthening and expanding the economy with high growth and to create conditions for people to realize their aspirations. Honorable Prime Minister in his Independence Day address to the nation in the 75th year of our republic said and I quote we commit ourselves to national development with new inspirations new consciousness new resolutions as the country opens up immense possibilities and opportunities it is our kartavya kal unquote every challenge of the pre 2014 era was overcome through our economic management and our rep governance these have placed the country on a resolute path of sustained high growth This has been possible through right policies, true intentions and appropriate decisions. 
in the full budget in July, Honorable Speaker, our government will present a detailed roadmap for our pursuit of Vikasit Bharat. Revised its estimates. Revised estimates of 2023-24. The revised estimate of the total receipts other than borrowings is 27.56 lakh crores of rupees, of which the tax receipts are 23.24 lakh crore rupees. The revised estimate of total expenditure is 44.90 lakh crore rupees. The revenue receipts at 30.03 lakh crore rupees are expected to be higher than the budget estimate, reflecting strong growth momentum and formalization in the economy. The revised estimate of the fiscal deficit is 5.8% of GDP, improving on the budget estimate notwithstanding moderation in the nominal growth estimates. Budget estimates for 2024-25. Coming to the year 2024-25, the total receipts other than borrowings and total expenditure are estimated at 30.80 uh, and 47.66 lakh crore rupees respectively. The tax receipts are estimated at 26.02 lakh crore rupees. The scheme of 50-year interest-free loan for capital expenditure to states will be continued this year with an outlay of 1.3 lakh crore rupees. We continue on the path of fiscal consolidation as announced in my budget speech of 2021-22 to reduce fiscal deficit below 4.5% by 25-26. The fiscal deficit in 2024-25 is estimated to be 5.1% of GDP adhering to that path. So the gross, net, the gross and net market borrowings through dated securities during 24-25 are estimated at 14.13 uh, lakh crore rupees and 11.75 lakh crore respectively. Both will be less than that in 23-24. Now that the private investments are happening at scale, the lower borrowings by the central government will facilitate larger availability of credit for the private sector vote on account. I'll be seeking vote on account approval of the Parliament through the appropriation bill for a part of the financial year 2024-25. Veedukalil virisala nir kasiva. Ungal kattadangalil erpadum anaitthu prachanai galukkum nirandara thirvai uttaravadat thudan tarugiradu. Building Doctor.